dear students friends welcome to the problem solving session on method of variation of parameter part 3 in session 1 we have seen the basics and procedure for doing method of variation of parameters then we did problems related to cosecant ax and secant ax in this part 1 video then later in part 2 video we are dealing problems with tan ax as well as cot ax and then we learn how to solve the problems so those who don't watch the video lectures on basics and part 1 part 2 go to the playlist you just watch the videos calmly and come back to this video in today's session we are going to learn one more new problem we keep on doing problems on d square plus a square into y is equal to my right hand side always single function secant cosecant cot tan etc now we are going to do a different problem before going to the problem let us recall some basic integration formula which we used in our previous problem also which are going to help pull in the current problem we know that if the denominator is f of x numerator is f dash of x dx then the answer is log f of x plus c so therefore from this if it is cot x i can write it as integral cos x divided by sin x dx then differentiation of sin x is going to be cos x so the problem is very simple the solution is log sin x plus c similarly when you have tan x dx i can write it as sin by cos now i need one minus because cos x differentiation is minus sin so i can multiply minus inside and outside so it will not affect the problem so now it is going to be minus the integral value is going to be cos x differentiation is minus sin x log cos x plus c and then we remember 1 plus cot square x is equal to cosecant square x 1 plus tan square x is equal to secant square x and differentiation of tan x when we go it is secant square x differentiation of cot x is going to be minus cosecant square x so these are all the basic things which we use in this problems now let us go into the problem let us consider d square plus 1 into y is equal to cosecant x cot x so in all our previous session we are dealing with d square plus a square into y is equal to a single function on the right hand side now we are dealing in the right hand side with two functions that is my cosecant x into cot x and also in the left hand side we are having d square plus 1 so in this case we don't want to go for a square if it is d square plus 1 we can directly solve let us see the steps one by one to find the cf we have to make the right hand side zero and the auxiliary equation can be found by putting d equal to m so m square plus 1 equal to 0 m square equal to minus 1 m is equal to 0 plus or minus i or simply we say plus or minus i therefore my roots are 0 plus or minus i we know complex roots always occur in pair so here alpha is 0 and beta is 1 so now i can write the cf directly e power 0x beta value is 1 so a cos x plus b sin x this is my cf a y1 plus b y2 where my y1 is nothing but cos x and y2 is sin x so we can see the type division one by one so step 1 is finding cf so we found that our y1 is cos x and y2 is sin x therefore our step 2 is finding wrong skein first y1 is cos x y2 is sin x y1 dash is going to be minus sin x y2 dash is going to be cos x and now we have to find the wrong skein y1 y2 y1 dash y2 dash so when i substitute this in the determinant expanding the determinant we get cos x into cos x minus minus of sin x into sin x so cos square x minus into minus plus sin square x it is going to be 1 we can see the steps here and 1 cannot be 0 therefore w equal to 1 then step 3 as usual pi the next step is pi for pi we need the answers of u as well as v since y1 and y2 are already known so we have to make the table first we have to write y1 then y2 w value is 1 r value the right hand side is cosecant x cot x 
then write the formula for u as well as the formula for v now we have to find u and v now we can see my r is cosecant into cot cosecant is 1 by sin so if i multiply y2 with r it will be little easy for me to get the solution and which formula is connecting y2 and r it simply u so u is equal to minus y2 r divided by w dx my y2 is going to be sin x my r is my cosecant x cot x divided by w is 1 dx now what will happen sin x cosecant is 1 by sin x both will get cancel will be having cot x dx so minus cot can be written as cos sx by sin sx dx you can see the type version here u when i substitute sin into cosecant i can write it as sin by sin then both will get cancel will be having integral cot x minus is also there still it is tough to solve or if tough to remember the formula cot is nothing but cos by sin do you remember student this formula integral f dash of x over f of x dx is log f of x see here we can have sin x in the denominator differentiation of sin x will give cos x so cos x is in the numerator applying this formula i can get u is going to be minus preserves here minus log sin x so u is done next we have to find v v is equal to y1 r by w y1 is cos x r is cosecant x cot x dx y1 is cos x r is cosecant x into cot x now convert everything in terms of sin cos it is easy for us to tally the problem cos x sin x into cot x dx now you can see cos by sin is also cot so we'll be getting cot x into cot x dx that is cot square x dx now we don't know how to solve this problem just remember 1 plus tan square theta is equal to secant square theta similarly 1 plus cot square theta equal to cosecant square theta so cot square x can be written as cosecant square x minus 1 you can see the typed version now we remember in our school days differentiation of cot x is going to be minus cosecant square x similarly differentiation of tan x is plus secant square x so now cosecant square x can be written as minus cot x that is integration of cosecant square x is going to be minus cot x whatever we learned in school we are using now and minus 1 is simply minus x now v is also done i want to find u y1 plus v y2 let us write one by one pi is equal to u y1 plus v y2 next we are going to find pi we know our u and v as well as y1 y2 substitute here we'll be getting like this simplifying this this will remains the same i'll bring the cos x to the front minus cos x log sin x when you expand this minus x sin x minus cot x sin x now cot x sin x can be simplified because cot x is going to be cos x divided by sin x into sin x now sin sin get cancel will be having only minus cos x now taking this minus cos x common 1 plus log sin x minus x sin x i think you can stop here you don't want to do further simplification now the general solution is y is equal to cf plus pi we know my cf is a cos x plus b sin x then pi just now we found from which i can write this part and the problem gets over hope you understand it is a very easy problem just try to understand and write in a simplified way Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.